All right, and I'm back. So, first of all, very important matter of business. Let's go to the controls and set the gear change to button C. Yes, this is my preferred setup of options. Yes. All right, let's start again. And go to Magical Sound Shower, which was hiding Get out ready. all the way at the left. So now I can just let muscle memory take in and we'll see, I'll probably be a lot, lot better. I don't know why Magical Sound Shower was hiding all the way on the left. I mean, it's, it's one of the cooler songs, why wouldn't you start with it? Whatever. Yeah, I mean, track memorization is rather important, but it's kind of the sort of thing you pick up after you play like seven or five times just trying to get a high score each time, and then you just, after a while, you figure out where the crazy turns are. The first level is actually very easy, and the only turn you have to watch out for is when you start seeing, like, all the beach houses on the side. That's when you know, slow down. Now, this was back in the days when, okay, slow down. This was back in the days when you could just go flat out, like, all the time. Well, actually, if you see the beach houses, you're already past it. Never mind, that's terrible advice. But this was back in the days when you could just, like, keep your race car car you can keep your car in full speed all the time to no ill effect checkpoint i mean you can't do that anymore well you sort of can it depends on how arcade your game is but yeah that's that's like one of the first realizations <laughs> going from video game cars to real life cars <laughs> don't don't keep the accelerate down all the time yeah i mean it's it's a hard lesson but anyway, you try to keep the acceleration down all the time, but there are some times when you do need to break. And, as you may or may not expect, as you go on throughout the levels, you gotta be able to slow down or else you're gonna, well, be seeing a lot of trees up close and personal. Although, yeah. I mean, you can, you can tell you're going at a good speed when, when you're turning, you aren't going left still. Um, I can't even remember anymore if that's, like, indicative of real life, but it's, it's just what happens. It's a game. Certain things you just have to take for granted. Yeah, yeah. Like, like that you will fail. That's, that's also an inevitable aspect of video games. It's, it's just the nature of the game. Oh, oh wow. I might not even make it. After all that big talk of, oh, this is going to be my serious run. I know what I'm doing now, and I changed my buttons, and... Ah! Ah! Well, needless to say, I didn't make it. Oh, man. Yeah, Outrun really does lend itself to incredibly frustrating moments like that, because the timer, it basically goes off, like, it's time to go right off when you get to the next stage. So you get a lot of moments like that when you, like, almost made it, but you very clearly didn't. Alright, step get on ready. beat, and this is my last chance. I'll, um, quote, play it, I'll play it, quote, safe, and I'll go all the way to the left, which is the easy path. That's right, I may or may not be wussing out, but uh, you didn't see it last video, but I totally set the difficulty to as hard as it could go. And actually, there's one harder difficulty, but you have to... Well, you have to do one of two things. You either beat the game at this difficulty level, or you input some sort of code, and then you've got it, and you get to go to the next one. And... I... I, I really don't like codes. I mean, back in the day, you have to, like, remember some crazy sequence of... Like, buttons and numbers and combos and press, and that's... That's just not my thing. I hated codes back in the day. Like, I hear you're supposed to write them down off of, like, oh, remember, what was, what was it, like, Game Code Facts? No, no, Game Facts is a real thing now, but there was this one, it was, like, Code Universe or something. Oh my gosh, that was, like, the best website to go through for codes in, like, the mid-90s, in, like, mid to late 90s, back when the internet was, like, kind of a new thing. Oh, that's right, Netscape Navigator, even, from the days of Netscape Navigator. Back when Mozilla Firefox was called Netscape Navigator. You remember those days? Probably not, because I don't think they ever really happened. Firefox is like Netscape. 
if you neglect all of the parts for Netscape didn't really work, and Firebox, like, kind of works, it, it works well enough, but it's, it's big and fat. But it does what it wanted to, but it's big and fat. It's kind of like the ideal security guard. I mean, he's not gonna win any beauty contests, but he's gonna keep your building safe. But he's also kind of big and fat. Well, I mean, what do you think they do? Or, oh. Yeah, anyway. So, we're just... I've... Man. Is it me or does this place, like, arguably in a post-apocalyptic wasteland? I'm gonna realize it could just be a moderately wooded area in the fall, but it could also be post-zombie apocalypse. And everyone's in cars, they're trying to escape the zombie apocalypse. Wait, those cars, they always kind of drive forward in predictable pattern. What if the zombies are in the cars? What if you're the last surviving human? With, I, well, okay, you've got like a girlfriend who's a human too, but you're just driving around and you're like sticking it to all the zombie drivers. You're like, look at me. Not only am I human, but I also have a Ferrari and a blonde chick. Man. That's... That kind of ruined Outrun for me now. That's terrible. <laughs> you know how sometimes you like see something, you'll never be able to unsee it? I, I think I'll never be able to unimagine Outrun as a zombie apocalypse game. So, there you have it. Outrun was the first zombie apocalypse game way back in the day for the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis blast processing ahead of your time. That's right. Oh. And... Someone call me Flippy, because I'm flipping this guy. Actually, do you remember Battle Tanks with, like, the cool Flippy... No, no, we're talking Battle Tanks 2, Global Assault. The one with the cool Flippy Tank, where you just press the C buttons and it just kind of flips. That was a cool tank. I mean, it wasn't that great as far as tank-wise goes, but as far as, like, doing awesome stuff, it was the best. Because you could just, like, sidestep all of the opponent's stuff. And you're just like, hey, check it out, I'm a tank, and I'm sidestepping you, sucker. And then you sidestep him. And then they kill you in two or three shots, and you're playing as a Goliath, and you're just a stupid Flippy, but whatever. Oh my gosh, I just did that thing. You know how you're, like, walking down the hallway, and you see someone coming at you, and you, like, you try to go left, but they go left, and you go right, and they go right, and you go left again, and they go left, and you, like, run into each other? Well, at the last second, you're supposed to go a different way. Like, one of you is supposed to just submit to the other, and the other one's supposed to go to a different direction. But yeah, I didn't do that, I just crashed into the semi. It was... not a moment of pride for me, but... I don't know. I'm doing well enough. Oh, stage four? Uh... We'll see. Oh yeah. Video games are all about exciting moments like this, when you just keep pushing yourself, and then all of a sudden, you start... succeeding. Yeah. That... yeah. But hey, maybe I did well enough that I can make it, so we'll find out. But yeah, video games, you just kind of push yourself, and you're like, trying to get to that next level, and you're like, I can make it, or can I? Oh god, and then you start getting all sweaty, and then you just like, feel the adrenaline pumping. I don't actually... Well. And then, and then you reach that moment where you just absolutely know, you're not gonna win the game, and that you might as well just give up. Yeah. Well, hey, I gave it a good go, and I almost made it, but, you know, sometimes you're just not gonna be the win- oh, oh, hey, at least I got the first score. Man. So I realized last time that, uh, <laughs> the video kind of went on for like a minute longer, listening to this entire last, last wave theme, so maybe I won't do that again, but that was fun, but this cat's gotta scat. See you guys next time.